Our loyal viewers will immediately recognize this as one of the biggest aerospace and defense businesses in the world. Remember the catapult chair and the unusual passenger seats of the Airbus 350? Those projects are also associated with this American company. And today, we have a project that appears to be straight out of Tony Stark's lab. On your screen is an enhanced version of the F-35 pilot's helmet. An augmented reality display shows a lot of necessary data and also allows the pilot to look around as if the aircraft were transparent with the help of different cameras. A unique operating system makes it possible to easily switch between modes, such as activating night vision which no longer requires separate goggles. The design's ideal center of gravity and active noise cancellation also make flying more pleasant. This anti-aircraft gun for ships is the result of collaboration between a local military equipment company and a Swiss armament company. Its main advantages include a rate of fire of up to 200 single shots per minute and up to 1,000 in bursts, 152 ballistic elements in each projectile and one hour installation. The weapon is 35 millimeters in diameter and uses the Saab system for fire control. Due to its versatility, it can fire on small surface targets and the open architecture of the computer system has caught the interest of numerous nations, including Venezuela and Denmark. In terms of military advancements, Israel is interesting because in 2021, it was the first nation in the world to use a smart swarm of drones that were controlled by artificial intelligence. The swarm assisted in detecting, identifying, and attacking targets, and all the operator had to do was point in the appropriate directions and issue commands. Today's pick is a system designed to manage those swarms, it is called Legion X. The Israeli solution is intriguing for a number of reasons, including the fact that it can be used with a variety of unmanned ground and air vehicles, has a universal architecture that can be modified, and is compatible with the Ross robot operating system. Thirdly, depending on the model, the system can function without GPS and offers tactical support. This model has been in service since 1991 and has been purchased by Norway, Sweden, and Brazil while the United States has managed to obtain a license to build them. Needless to say, the vessel is regularly upgraded. These Swedish-built vessels are useful for reconnaissance, patrolling coastal defenses, and military support. The craft provides a cruising speed of roughly 43 miles per hour with a range of 345 miles, all achieved with a pair of 900-horsepower engines. This version was on exhibit at the Military and Security Equipment International Show in London last year. Once more, we are in Israel, where Raphael produced this missile system. The engineers designed it to close a functional gap in deep land attack and maritime dominant systems, and it offers clients a range of up to 186 miles to hit targets. There are two variants of the system for ship-based and land-based operation and they both provide targets in any weather and at any time of day. Intelligent software finds and recognizes targets automatically, enabling a perfectly timed attack. AI algorithms with deep learning options assist with targeting, and missiles are effective even in electronic warfare. Operator intervention is always possible, and one strike is sufficient to destroy a frigate. In many shooters, turrets are a common feature. In Tom Clancy's The Division 2, for instance, there are many sorts of turrets that can be used to do different tasks. Such variations also exist in reality. For instance, the manufacturer states that this model, which is now in testing, has a combat range of over 0.6 miles and an observation and defeat range of 330 degrees. It may acquire 10 simultaneous targets. Operators use a smart glove and tablet and may work autonomously or under someone's control. One observer noticed the problem, however, the video lag limits your ability to hit anything but stationary targets. What do you think? Still effective? Turkish engineers have recently been hard at work. At the recent International Defense Industries exhibition, they displayed a vehicle that captured the attention of many Middle Eastern delegations. It is a modular infantry fighting vehicle with an unmanned turret. A tracked version of the vehicle was also displayed, though there is also a wheeled version. There is space for a laser scanning system, cameras, and even a reconnaissance drone in addition to the weapon's 35mm caliber and automatic active defense system, which can fire down fragmentation ammunition. Further armor systems can improve protection. Another Israeli innovation is the Iron Beam Missile Defense System, 
which will be used in conjunction with the Iron Dome, another missile defense system. The Iron Beam's primary function is to intercept and destroy missiles with a range of more than a mile as well as drones, artillery shells, and mines. This method makes the system more affordable, unrestricted in terms of ammunition, and transportable as it can be mounted on a truck chassis. The system's lethal range is up to 4.3 miles, and it is primarily funded by the Israeli Ministry of Defense. These systems are anticipated to be deployed in the next few years. In Germany, a family of multi-purpose armored vehicles known as the Boxer Series is growing and expanding. These vehicles have been used for a variety of tasks, including serving as engineering and medical stations and self-propelled artillery systems. And today, we want to show you this bridge layer. According to the manufacturer, it is possible to put up or repair a bridge up to 49 feet in length, and the deployment process only takes a few minutes. It can climb 30-degree slopes because of the independent torsion suspension and the standard engine's 700 horsepower output. Another American innovation is this small tactical drone, which have the police more interested in than the military because it can be used to search locations, bargain with criminals, and examine suspicious materials. The 2.4-pound drone has a microphone and a replaceable hybrid camera that functions even in the dark. The drone can also be quickly upgraded with features like a glass breaker and a tactical strobe light. It has a 31-minute flight time and comes with specialized FPV goggles. During slow indoor flights, an auxiliary LiDAR system and the ability to flip the drone if it malfunctions are very helpful. The British Business Today selection features one of HESCO's novelties, which is renowned as one of the world's leaders and inventors in the field of rapidly installed barrier systems. Military history experts should already be familiar with the gabions. Since the 16th century, the military has used this term to describe a cage filled with stones, soil, and other materials to fortify positions. British experts claim that their version can erect a 33-foot wall in just 20 minutes, with just two men and a car, which means there are fewer logistical issues. The strength and steel blocks have a zinc-aluminum coating that provides protection and resilience to various attacks. The next offering is made in the USA. An unmanned small tank known as the Ripsaw M5 is being tested by US specialists. It has a top speed of around 25 miles per hour, a payload capacity of roughly 8,000 pounds, and an open design that enables it to be configured for a number of purposes. The tank is armed with a 30mm cannon and a 7.62mm machine gun, as well as several different types of drones, both ground and aerial giving it extensive reconnaissance capabilities. The developers claim that the vehicle is one of the fastest and most maneuverable in the luxury segment. Watch the next video for more amazing tech.